tutorial is how to fill out a requisition in NetSuite. Start by logging into the system. Most roles are capable of uh, uh, creating a requisition. I'm going to show you an example from the Skywater Employee Center, which everybody gets that role. Uh, start by entering, clicking on the Enter Requisition button. Dates filled out automatically, requester, which department you're in, all that comes up. You do need to select a vendor, and you should have a quote that supports this requisition. So type, you can start by typing in the vendor's name, and it'll bring up a list that you can select from. If there's a customer uh, that we are purchasing them for, this for and it will be billed back, you would pick them from this dropdown. Again, you can start by typing their name. If there's a project or activity that this is associated with, um, you can select that from this dropdown. Any specific notes to the approvers that are going to be on this or to the buyer can be filled out in these two locations. Uh, when it's time to enter an item, you start by selecting a category on the left. You can go to the list, which will bring you a large list of um, different categories. Um, select from this list. And then if they don't find it on this list, you can go into the other categories and do not select the Z categories. So to move on with this, I'm just going to pick capital for this example. I'm going to buy one unit of measure is each. And type by start by typing E. If you have a supplier part number, you would enter that here. Uh, and then your description of what it is uh, you're buying. Whatever the cost would be, you would put that here. Um, the department that it's being billed to, you, you would select this here. If you, do, if you don't know the department, then you would either talk to your manager or finance to get clarification on that. Um, need by a date if you know that, and then uh, I would tab over to the supplier quote number and enter that here. Once you have that, you can then click the add button and now you're Singular line has been added to your requisition and it shows up in the estimated total on the top right. If there's any documentation that you would need to attach, you'd go to the communication, files, and attach file box. And when you hover over that, you'll see that these two icons come up. Um, you'll want to hit the plus sign here for a new file. And this is if you wanted to attach your quote. Um, and this brings you the option to attach from your computer. You would go choose your file from your computer. Um, it, this brings up your file manager and uh, you just direct to the exact file that you want to upload and, and then you hit open. Um, you then also need to select or create a file name and select a folder from the, from the list, from this drop-down list or create your own folder with the, the new button. But all, all three of these things have to be in place before you can hit the save. Once you're complete with that, you would hit the save button. And once this initial save is complete, it's now generated a rec number, but it not ha has not been submitted for approval. So you still need to hit the submit button at this point, and then it would go through the approval route which there are automated approval routes in the system, starting with your manager. Um, and then depending on the um, uh, amounts, it will go through the department owners and up, up the chain to as high as the president, uh, depending on the, the dollar amount. This one would require president's approval.
that's all there is.